In this video, we will look at tripartite compound inequalities. A tripartite inequality, as its name suggests, is a three-part inequality. It's a special version of an and inequality, which requires the left side to be true. Negative 6, in this case, is less than or equal to negative 4x plus 2, and it requires the right side to be true. Negative 4x plus 2 is less than 2. At the same time, you will also notice that the overall inequality, negative 6x, I'm sorry, negative 6 is less than 2, also holds as a true statement. It compacts the and into this one three-part inequality. We can solve this inequality much like we solve other inequalities as we attempt to isolate the x in the center. This will tell us the two numbers that x falls between. As we solve this inequality, instead of balancing on just the left and the right, we are now going to balance in the left and the right and the center. So to start getting the x alone, we know to subtract 2. If we subtract 2 in the center, we must also subtract 2 on the left and the right. 6, negative 6 and negative 2 is negative 8, is less than or equal to negative 4x. The 2 subtract to 0, which is less than 0. Notice on the right side, when everything subtracted out, we still had 0 left. A common error is if we end up with 0 to ignore that other side, and people simply write negative 8 is less than or equal to negative 4x. This would be incorrect. That less than 0 is important because 0 is still the upper limit. We continue solving, just like always, to get the x alone by dividing by negative 4. And again, we must divide all three parts by the negative 4. Notice, dividing by a negative requires us to flip the inequality symbols the opposite directions. We now have 2 is greater than or equal to x, which is greater than 0. Technically, we have solved this equation, inequality for x. However, we normally like the inequalities on a tripartite inequality to open to the right. So let's flip this over in its entirety. Putting the 0 on the left is less than x. Notice that's the same notation we have opening to the x. And on the right side is less than or equal to 2. Notice it also opens to the 2. We have merely flipped the inequality over, almost as a mere image. As we graph this inequality, the tripartite inequality suggests to us that the x is somewhere in the center of 0 and 2. At 0, because it's strictly a less than symbol, we need an open circle. However, at 2, because we also have or equal to, we'll use a closed circle. This graph tells us that any value we pick between 0 and 2, including 2 but not 0, will make this tripartite inequality a true statement. We'll end up with something that's between negative 6, and positive 2. As usual, we can represent this with interval notation as well. The lower value is 0, with a cursed parentheses, comma, the upper value is 2, with a square parentheses. And we've now represented the graph in interval notation.